This vehicle belongs to the classics with the highest cult potential. Higher than some Ferraris or Lamborghinis. Prices in the meantime have moved into the six-digit region. At the time it was built, it was considered as being a simple form of transport. The VW Bus Samba. In 1946, a simple panel car was produced at VW. And when the Belgium importer, Ben Pond, saw the transport vehicle, he scribbled something down on a notepad and presented it in Wolfsburg, the VW bus. The engineering was supplied by the Beetle. Production began in 1950, and 12 years later, the one millionth vehicle ran off the production line. The beginning of a success story. The people from Wolfsburg built the T1, the so-called bully or camper, almost unchanged in the first generation until 1967. Johanna Niedera, life partner of a luxury car dealer, fell for the Samba. For me, these are unbelievably sympathetic cars. If you look at new cars, then they have lots of plastic on them. On old cars, there's a lot of chrome and it shines nicely. If you look at the T1 from the front with this face, one could almost say that is really unbelievably sympathetic. A sentence that one really just needs to leave standing. Johanna's Samba has 44 horsepower, and when she accelerates with the four forward gears, the 1500 reaches a top speed of 110 kilometers an hour. In 1967, VW delivered this model to England, and after years of daily use, the white blue Samba had been restored in the last detail. Johanna and her partner board the bus back again from England. The ideal classic car for a family trip, but the 28-year-old also enjoys a solo trip out in their bully. This is not only a car for me, this is a lifestyle when one drives it. There you don't think about work or what one has to shop for. There one thinks, I have to go to the beach now or eat an ice cream. It's simply a cult car. Bully or camper drivers are a die-hard fan base and they love their all-purpose mobiles. At the 50th anniversary celebration, the enthusiasts pack all the finest specimens on a steam train and showcase their treasures to the astonished audience. There's one thing that drivers of an old VW bus know for sure. Everyone loves the bully. There's no jealousy or ill will. There's only positive reaction to a VW bus. Older people come and say, we had one like that too back then. We should never have sold it. Really positive. To drive a bully camper educates towards leisure. Every small car driver leaves the VW bus behind on demand. Naturally, you can't compare it to a sports car, but no one expects that from the bus. Rather, one plods along slowly and it swings very funnily. It is nice to drive, but naturally something completely different. But not only Germany loves its economic miracle child, the VW bus spreads its wings quickly, whether Indian jungle or Tibetan cloister the VW Transporter is used around the world. The Americans especially take it to their hearts, like the Beetle before. 
Also this model, a 62 Samba, also comes from the United States. A re-import, known as Samba by the fans, the fittings include a small ceiling window and folding roof, a precursor to today's large limousines. Officially, this model was never called Samba. Steering wheel, gear stick, speedometer, and a couple of buttons are really enough then. Its clock was already seen as being luxury. For years, the bullies or campers built an existent as a cheap transport vehicle until old timer collectors discovered the T1 and especially the Samba. But one needs to be careful. In the meantime, the first Samba copies are coming onto the market and exact control is required when purchasing. One can easily detect that with the M plate that's found behind the seat. If the number begins with a 24, then it's an original Samba bus, and if not, then it's a rebuilt one. One can also ascertain this because the Sambas have a double metal floor. If this floor is there, then it usually is an original. The engineering comes from the million times tested Beetle. The air-cooled four-cylinder boxer engine from the Bully runs and runs, even if not properly looked after. The supply of technical spare parts is exemplary. The era of flower children and those in the search of life and their used 100 mark bullies in caravan leading to India is long since history. The Bully Camper T1 and especially the Samba model have increased significantly in price in recent years. The positive result, in the meantime Samba models are meticulously restored. At the moment, there's a strong retro hype, actually, with all old-timers. It was clear that the VW bus would also be included because it has so much character. The Samba with the most windows was the top model. There are no longer so many examples. Because of the top row windows, many are rusted, and because of that, there's this price hype. Good for those then who can still call a Samba their own like Johanna and her 67 model imported from England.